Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Roland Swirsky, and uh, he asks this. I'm not sure if he's a ham or not, but he's working on his boat, putting in an installation for the VHF marine radio. Hi Dave, just watched a video uh, of one of your interviews with Ray Nelson regarding coax connectors. Ray Nelson was the principal behind Coax USA and or MPD Digital. Um, he's retired, um, but the business is still going. I'm in the process of replacing my VHF installation on a sailboat. Now the answer to this question is going to be a little different whether you're sailing like in the Great Lakes, which is freshwater, or if you're sailing in the ocean, which is saltwater, two very different things. Saltwater is extremely corrosive. Now, the salt is corrosive, the water is fine, uh, but the salt is corrosive. Okay, I should uh, use to maximize the radio's performance without getting ridiculously expensive. Appreciate any help you might provide, sincerely, Roland. Well, my wife used to own a boat many years ago, and she would be among the first to say that a boat is a hole in the water into which you throw money. Now, as a budding aviator, I will say an airplane is a space between two wings into which you throw money. Very expensive hobbies, okay? Now, uh, there is a company, and I'm going to show you something from the company. This is off of Amazon, okay? The um, company is called Shakespeare, just like the old bard himself, you know, Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, and all that sort of thing like that. But they make connectors for the saltwater crowd. Okay, these are crimp-on connectors. They're waterproof. They're wonderful. They do all kinds of neat things. Uh, they're available for different size uh, coaxes. Um, this one is for RG8 or RG58 AU. Uh, RG8X, I would recommend that more than the RG58. But these connectors, notice the price, 1519, okay? These connectors, and I would look at the entire Shakespeare line before choosing your connectors. Um, they're pricey for the connectors, but the cable you use can be the same cable other hams use, like RG8X, which is probably what you'll use for this because your line length from your cabin to your antenna is not very long. A 6, 8, 10, 12 feet, somewhere in there, RG8X will run fine. If it turns out that you've got a VHF antenna on top of your mast, well, you've got to run it a long way. And I don't think that you do. I think usually it's atop the cabin or something like that. So you could run with RG8X. If you do have to do a longer run, take a look at the Times microwave cables. You can get LMR 400, uh, which will carry that VHF signal quite a distance uh, without much attenuation. Okay, but Shakespeare is the name to look for and make sure you're getting genuine Shakespeare. See that says visit the Shakespeare store. So you want to visit that store and find out all the wonderful things they have there. Uh, and they are designed for your saltwater uh, boat. If it's just fresh water, uh, it's going to be outside. You're going to want to wrap it with uh, an insulating waterproof tape, okay, or you're going to want to uh, put some electrical tape on top of that. Let me show you the tape. Now this is the tape that you use to waterproof. Uh, you can get this down at Ace Hardware, and there's a name for it, and in typical fashion, I hate it when manufacturers do this. It's 3M that makes it. Okay, but this tape, uh, it's got a cover on it like this. And then here's the black tape. Notice this is really stretchy. 
Okay, so you want to stretch it a little bit, not a lot. But when you wrap this on itself, it fuses to itself and makes a waterproof connection. And one thing to make sure that you don't do is to cut both this and this at the same time because you'll have a hard time separating the blue from the black. So I always use the leave the blue a little bit longer on here. Now, uh, this tape is available from you know, like Ace Hardware and so on. It's called electrical splicing tape. It is, however, not UV resistant. So you will want to cover it with some just plain old fashioned electrical tape uh, to keep the UV out of it. And that'll keep, so this keeps the water out, then you need to keep the UV out of the actual connector. This keeps the water out, but then you need to protect the tape itself or it will go bad very quickly. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. Good luck with your sailing. That's something I've never tried to do. I'm still working on flying. And uh, one of these days, I'm trying to follow my own mantra. Persistence, persistence, persistence uh, to get there. I fly in on Wednesday. All right, so in, uh, if you've watched this far in the video, I would ask you to subscribe, click like, take a look at decastler.com slash support for ways you can support this channel, and take a look at decastler.com slash giveaway to see what our monthly giveaway is. And until we next meet, 73.